Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. I was all geared up ready to do an episode of The Forest uh, when I realised that my lovely uh, Rift controllers were out of battery. Uh, so rather than try and run through that without being able to swing a club at things, I thought we'd jump in and we'd do some Diablo. Uh, we've hit a new week so we have a new challenge rift available. We're going to jump straight in uh, with that. That's going to be some lovely uh, death breaths when we get through it. What have we got? We've got Sweeping Wind, we've got Mystic Ally. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And... Yeah, some Wuko's stuff. I mean, it's it's going to be a little bit janky, I'm sure, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll make it work. So, 6.24 is the time that we have to beat. Oh yeah, this is going to feel really janky. It's been such a long time since I've uh, <laughs> since I've done a monk. Uh, let's dodge through that. We're a little bit ahead on time, but not. Not really much. I've got to remember that um, we shouldn't just be dropping bells all the time. We should be doing it tactically or trying to do it tactically. Okay. I think I think this is mostly fine. Keep using our ally to get uh, extra resources back when we need it. I'm dodging out the way of dangerous things as they come along. Really, I want to get out of this area, so let's uh, just head back very quickly to kill that guy because I don't want him surviving thinking he got away with it. We're not hugely ahead of the time itself. But we're not doing badly either. Right, that's him gone. Every now and then, just watching my decoys appearing, and because it's, I'm, I'm very much not used to playing a monk. Uh, it does feel a little bit weird seeing them now and then. Uh, let's not be in the middle of them. That works. We're like halfway through on time. Oh, I really hope this is the right way to go. Yes, it is. Good. Sweeping wind is gone, so I've got to re-put that on. We'll wait until there's something nearish. Conduit. Nice. Try and make sure we're consistent with everything that we're killing. Oh, jeez, ran into a wall there. That's uh, that's not very useful for us. And a power pile, brilliant. Bell, bell, bell. Pure comedy at its best. Yeah, nothing this way. 
That was a waste of time. Sweeping wind is gone, so we've got to put that back on. Bell power. Yeah, I'd say overall this is going quite well. It's it's not a spectacular build. I'm not a huge fan of it, but we can make it work. And I suppose that's the uh, the most important thing with any build, isn't it? Can you make it work well enough for what you need? Ah, oh, cool, we've got another elite up here. Just dash out of the trouble that he left us in. I think we've got enough time to just keep dropping bells on this guy. And there we go. Job is a good and challenge rift completed. Let's head back to town. 545, that's pretty respectable, I'd say. Given we are not a monthly person at all. Okay, oh, actually, let's put that back over that way. And we will switch to our main character. So, uh, adventure mode, of course. Uh, we're keeping it to Torment 9. Let's just hop on straight in. And I'll see if I can remember how to actually play a Crusader after that little jaunt around as a monk. So, challenge rift cash. We will take that. All these bits. 35 death breaths is great. We do want to make ourselves um, a one-handed flail, which we're going to try and upgrade. Now, this is, of course, um, what's been, uh, or what will, if we manage to get it, uh, remove the resource cost from Blessed Shield. So, fingers crossed. Upgrade rare item. It is not the one we want. It is not even like a reasonably close to to good one. So we're we're staying with what we have, I guess. Johanna's argument goes in there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. So we've got Akam's addendum. Uh that's just a placeholder really. Uh we've got Aquila Curus, that's definitely one that we need. We've got the Obsidian Ring of Zodiac, that is a placeholder. Um, over here, what we really need is not that. Well, yeah, that's going to go in the cube, uh, Akans leniency. Uh, but for our main hand, it is Gear Falcon's foot. That's it. And that's just going to be so good when we eventually get it. But it is very much a case of when. Um, right, we have a greater rift keystone, so we may as well hop in and do a greater rift. Ooh, actually. We have blood shards, so let's ask for unity. That's too we might get lucky. Inoculus ring, 84%. That is better than the 81%, so yeah, we'll put that in. And an ancient creed's flame. Interesting, but uh, not massively useful for us. So, creed's flame, I don't think we have one of these already. That goes across... Uh, we do already have an Oculus uh, down here ready for going in the cube, so I think we'll just salvage this up. And feel a little bit disappointed at our luck. Uh, in terms of death press, oh, we have enough for another. Well, then, let's give it a go. We will eventually get what we need. If you don't try, then you're just relying on finding them, which is fine. It just takes a long time. 
no, we've already got this one actually, so we can we can just salvage this straight up. And of course, all these bits that we're salvaging up is giving us forgotten souls, which we can use for reforging the stuff later. Well, that was a 10 minute faff that uh, we probably didn't need to uh, to focus on. So what are we working on at the moment? We're working on Bane of the Stricken. Uh, also, let's have a look at the champion objectives. Uh, yeah, we need to get to Torment 10 and keep leveling up our gems. Those are the big things. So we are on target for, for what we need. Oh, I remember, yeah, it's, it's pretty much fire and forget and just hit things. Glass cannon-esque. With Jekking Borg, we are doing a hell of a lot more damage. As you can see, it's just ricocheting throughout stuff. Um, that was a big thing for us to find. I'm glad that we've already got it, because I'd hate to still be like looking for something that's so vital for our build at this point. Come on, guys, just stay still. Let let me hit you. Oh, geez, they're hurting quite a lot. So, yeah, very much a glass cannon, as I was saying. It's fine. As long as you know it, you can plan for it. And we have sort of planned for it in the sense that um, as long as I'm not an idiot, we won't get ourselves killed. I don't like having quite so many ranged mobs that we're going up against, but it is what it is. Running at Torment 9 equivalent means we'll be getting a lot of experience. So it's it's worth the trade-off as long as I'm not an idiot. And generally speaking, I don't think I'm an idiot. He says not sounding convinced at all. A lot of our resource generation is reliant on um, Akarat's champion. So while it's down, we're not getting a huge amount of uh, wrath back. A little bit from, uh, from Cormac, of course. But if we can remove the cost of uh, Blessed Shield, then it it will drastically change our survivability and damage output. Rather than like bursting the way we do at the moment, it will just be a lot more consistent. And our survivability will be much higher as well. So, what have we got down here? We, uh, so we've got fewer ranged things so far, that's great going to give us what feels like a bit more control. The other good thing about um, uh, Gip Anthem's foot when we get it um, is it'll increase the damage even further. 350% extra. Oh, no. No, we are definitely backing away. Bugger off. You guys can bugger off as well. Now we are fine, we've just triggered a death, and I don't like having triggered a death. So we're just going to stay back for a moment. We can pop Akarat's champion in order to get our indestructible back. Well, to get an extra life back. So it's fine, we don't have long to wait. And we've got plenty of time uh, on this. Uh, yeah, 11 and a half minutes left. So that'll go down to just under 11 minutes. Whew, well... Uh, so we still need the Heart of Iron here. Uh, we still need the Court of the Sherma, ideally. Um, I still need the Act 2 boots, the um, Illusory boots. Um, any ancient legs would do. And um, Mage Fist. Mage Fist is the ideal one for us to have on our wrist. And then uh, probably uh, Death Watch Mantle, I think. There's, there's there's a lot of things that we can do to uh, to improve this build, but it's it's already pretty powerful. It's just like 
dangerously weak when uh, when facing nasty scary mobs get into the middle of the next big group get him killed before they cause us issues right, let's not stand in the middle of all those explosions while they go off Right, you, you're the one that I was wanting to kill. Alright, still need more wrath. So, trying to get it back as often as possible from the little things. Inevitably, you do have to punch them a little bit. Ooh, shit, pardon. I will take that. That is going to give us a lot more freedom. Shield Pilot basically turns it into easy mode. We can just take our time killing things. We know that we've got the, uh, the damage output. It takes away our like biggest issue of uh, you know being paper thin entirely paper thin making good progress while the shield parliament is up it is running a bit low of course There's some more elites. One Punisher gone. Let's not stand and get frozen. I will grab all of those purple orbs though. I think we're gonna we're gonna get the Rift Guardian just when uh, everything runs out. It's always the way. You just have to work with what you can, really. Okay, so... It's the choker. That's not too bad. Just wait a little bit more. One more, and we've got fire round on our thing. Okay, that, I could have managed my wrath a little bit better, but that went as well as it could have done. Uh, all these points are going to go into Bane of the Stricken, of course. Doesn't look like we've got any uh, interesting bits from that. But we'll go back to town and we'll uh, identify them, of course. So, alright, hand this in. And yeah, it's a reasonable number of levels that we got from that. We are going to have to run a regular rift now because we are out of... Oh, that's another Justice Lantern. It is worse than our current one in every way. So that can get salvaged. Another Rackles Glass of Life. That can get salvaged. That can get salvaged. Zystone Vengeance will get saved. It goes up there, but everything else goes under the hammer. Hammer time. Doop, doop, doop. I could have given the Justice Lantern to Cormac, um, but I think he's probably going to end up being better with the Oculus and Unity. Uh, I don't really care too much about him blocking. We're not going to give him freeze of deflection or anything fancy like that. So, in with a regular rift. Um, there's going to be a lot of rifting from, from here on out. Uh, there's not really much we can do to get around it. It's the only way that we're going to be able to work on our legendary gems.
Okay, I'm oh I'm not back. Annoying. Annoying not back. I'm running at this level isn't too difficult. And of course we get double death breaths now and then. Just charge into him with our steed, get some fire under his butt. Okay, so not the fastest progress, but uh, after we've done this we'll definitely have time for another greater rift. And it's, it's all down to that wrath. That is what is slowing us down. When we've got Akarat's champion on and we've got that extra wrath generation, we storm through stuff. Absolutely stonking along. Section two. Periodically just popping uh, our iron skin to make sure that we don't accidentally die to all these ranged dudes. Hello, you guys. Ooh, no. No, that's a... This is a bad place. Tactical retreat. Oh, did not mean to step down. That's annoying. Can't even cancel it once it's uh, started moving close to it. Still, we are perfectly fine. Just being let down by our Wrath generation, of course. Got another elite up here. Nope. Man, this is this is very dangerous. Like all of the danger. It's so big. It's so big and so in the way. Right, you know what? I am going to step down because with that in the way, it's just it's too much to risk for 10 seconds. For 10 seconds without the uh, the indestructible trait and potentially getting caught up on it and dying before anything can uh, can react. There we go. Much safer. Safer, more sensible, all those other things that we love. And what are we up to? 44%. It's not, uh, it's not unreasonable. Oh, cool. Shield pile. I was going to say, not that we really need it, but, um, yeah, I think we, we probably do. Based on how I'm handling this at Torment 9, we are being quite, uh, quite dangerous, quite gung-ho. And so having that, that extra shielding is almost certainly going to be very welcome. Right, all these guys, of course, taking up our wrath, needing to get killed. 
while we've got the shield pile on, let's uh, try and focus on some bigger dudes. Not like bigger like that, but bigger like more dangerous. If you're talking physical size, then some of the biggest things in the game are not the most dangerous. bit dangerous especially with Cormac uh, lying down on the job um, but running at this level does mean we're going to progress faster uh, with the items that we do find so I think it's it's almost certainly going to be worth it what's that frenzy try I've made the mistake of retreating forwards this as we know is a terrible plan oh my god I'm stuck I can't move ah oh we got stuck on a wall that is that is horrible right That was so lucky that we got out of there. So, so incredibly lucky. Right. This is safe for us to... Wait. So there's, there's a lot of waiting in this episode. Um, the wall... Either it appeared directly on us, or there was two walls right next to each other and we were stuck in between them, but I couldn't move out of it at all. Couldn't charge, couldn't couldn't do anything to get out of that. So very glad we are alive. That was actually probably the best brown trousers moment that we've had so far uh, this season. Very, very dangerous. All right, five seconds and we'll be back. And luckily we're not under a time limit with these. So taking out the giant turkey. Take out the big dude. I'm glad we retreated from that. Fighting both of those would have been too dangerous just for the sake of it. And the reason I always say you shouldn't retreat forwards is because we ran into uh, like another another two elite packs by accidentally retreating in the wrong direction. I mean, this place is great for elite density by the looks of it, but just way too uh, too hazardous. Right, let's get a bit of wrath back under our belt. And what are we up to? 85%. Definitely take that pool of reflection. I'm trying to push on and be aggressive while I have Akrat's champion up because it does make a big difference to our uh, Wrath generation and so the speed that we can move through stuff. Actually missed him there for a moment. Bad luck for you, friend. Yeah, bad luck indeed. So incredibly painful. All right, let's summon this Rift Guardian. Cold Slap is gone. I got another Great Rift Keystone from him. That's great. Um, but uh, overall, that felt rather uncomfortable. All right, let's... Uh, 
Well, actually, we didn't we didn't really get anything from that. Let's just talk to Kadala. Uh, we'll ask her about rings again. This is pretty much going to be our ongoing thing. Arkstone, no, we don't want Arkstone. I will just salvage that right up. And uh, I'm afraid that is going to be all that we have time for today. We have uh, we have hit the limit for this episode. Uh, but thank you very much for coming along. I do hope you have enjoyed this, despite the absolutely terrifying and uh, terrible uh, gameplay this time. Uh, if you are liking these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon!